Time for a fun upgrade to the cart this time. We are putting on underglow lights. You know, they had different modes. You see them on a bunch of carts and they'll dance with music and all that. We just thought we'd put it on for fun. Uh, again, 10 LOL reached out to us, sent us a few things to try. That's why we're trying it, to be honest with you. We're figuring out uh, why not, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's a complete kit, comes with everything you need in this kit. We'll give you a close up here of what comes in it. It comes with a cool remote. The remote even has some weight to it, so it's, it's a good quality build. It's, it's already got a fuse in line on the plug. Uh, you'll be plugging this in directly to your battery if you want, or uh, we have a DC to DC converter to go from the 48 volts to the 12 volts. That way you don't get none of that pulse with when you press the pedal. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's get you over here, show you what all comes in this kit, and then we'll just put it on. It's a pretty simple insulation. You can either use the 3M sticky tape, uh, double-sided tape to put on here to attach your lights, or it also includes 3M, or uh, excuse me, zip ties if you wanted to zip tie it up underneath to something. And there's four lights. There's one for each side, one for the front, and one for the back. And then there's only two wires to hook it up, like I said, to your battery or your converter. And then uh, you'll be set and ready to go. So let's show you what we got here. All right, guys. This is the size box it comes in. It's not a very big box at all. Should be a quick project. Let's see what we got in here. Well, you have your four runs of lights already wired up. And they have nice plugs on them so you can do each one separately. You have your control box right here with the antenna. I guess you could stretch that out. That works for the remote. And then you have your positive and negative wire. Like I was mentioning, the positive has the, a fuse in, in line with it already. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it has zip ties. And it has the double-sided 3M tape for your controller. So you could stick that somewhere underneath. You have your instruction booklet, tells you where to mount them up, like on the rails underneath or someplace you like. And then a cool little uh, remote. It's got some weight to it, but you can see the different modes on here. You have on, off, the mode. There's a bunch of different modes. I forgot how many were. Let me, let me, let me check on that for you. I'll get in there. 24 different modes. So you got 24 different modes, you can go solid colors, dancing colors, chasing colors. It's pretty cool. And then, of course, you have the music mode, which if you're playing music, the lights will dance with the music. That's awesome. So now that you've seen all that pretty simple stuff, we're not sure how we're going to mount this yet because the lights don't have the 3M tape on it. But we do have the 3M uh, VHB tape. We might do it that way or we might just zip time under there if we find a spot. I'm not sure. Uh, but we got to get under there and see what we got first. So. Let's get under there and see where we're gonna mount these things. All right, guys, we are under our cart here trying to look for a spot to put the front one. In your kit, there's different length light pieces. Your shortest one is gonna be for the front. So the only spot I could see maybe is right across our spring like this. And since the light's flexible, it, even when the spring compresses, it would flex with it. Now we're gonna put 3M on our light. Let's see if I can show you. It'll sit up under here. We're gonna put 3M on the, the end of the light from about here over. And then we're also gonna zip tie in a couple spots. And then we'll do the same over on this side. And then it's gonna cross under this, which we'll probably put some 3M, maybe a piece there to hold it. Um, there are some holes in it, so maybe I can get a zip tie through there, but time will tell. So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna put some 3M on there on our lights and try to stick it right to that. But we're gonna clean these off with alcohol on the bottom and the back of our lights first, so let's do that. All right, we got some alcohol. Just using some isopropyl rubbing alcohol. We're gonna rub the bottom of this spring all the way across, even over here. We're gonna get it cleaned off. Make sure we got no dirt on there so the sticks it has a better chance of sticking. You can see the dirt come off of there. Um, there is that adhesive adhesion promoter. If you have some of that, you can put it on. It is kind of expensive, but I don't think we're going to need it here because we're doing the double-sided tape and some zip ties. So we should be good. So let's go wipe them white lights and put some tape on those. All right, we're cleaning off our light here with the alcohol. We already did the spring underneath that we're going to do in the front. We're only going to, we only need it from here to here. We measured it, that's why I marked it with my finger. Because then it crosses over the spring mount. And then, so we won't need it for that spot. So we're only going to need it from here. Make it a little easier. We'll mark it with a marker there. 
Now this is the 3M tape I was talking about. It fits this perfectly. It's like I think this is quarter inch one or something, but fits this perfectly. That's what we're gonna use on our light. I mean, this is a VHB, so this one holds really well. So we'll just start it over here. Try to get that as centered as we can get it. You can use your fingers to guide it along. See, we got that section set up, and then we're there's going to be a section on this side. We're going to do the same thing. It's about the it's going to be about the same length as this one, as this one. Like I said, you can see where the line is right there. The rest crossed over the spring, so we'll bypass it. We'll go over it a little, or we'll put a little bit on it past that point. But it's going to be the same thing. Let's get started here at the end. Try to keep it centered if you can. Just see this. I went past that spot a little bit, but I wanted to. And that's a pro tip too. If you you can cut these, but if you pull on it, you can see it leaves you a tail to start peeling it off with. So it worked pretty good. See, even on this end, leaves you a little tail. So otherwise, you're trying to dig at it. Make sure it's laid down really good. We're also going to grab a couple of these zip ties that are included in the kit. So on the center section where it goes across the spring mount, we're probably going to try to get a couple of these in there. That way we don't have to deal with uh, 3M not sticking in that spot. So let's go put this one on. All right, we got our set. We got the spring clean. Let's peel off this tape or the, yeah, the, the other side of the tape, get us ready. Try to get as centered of the spring as you can. That's what we're doing. Close as we can, use our fingers as a guide. There you go. So that's sticking pretty good. Like I said, this is where we have to go over the spring mount. That's why we didn't put the tape there. Then we're gonna continue the light on the other side. Then for that middle spot, if you, we probably don't even need anything, but if we did, we would probably use uh, the zip ties there. We'll see. Got some bugs out here. Try to keep that up and out of the way. I mean, your cart might be different. You might have a different spot to mount yours, but I think this is going to give us an uninterrupted light piece right across the whole thing. So it'll look good. Sitting right there. I think that's going to stay pretty good. I'm going to try to get a zip tie across this center one because there's really nothing holding that down. So there's, there's a bunch of holes in there. So let's see what we can do there. There's one that goes through the center. I'm not sure if I can get a zip tie through that. Might not be able to. Doesn't appear to. So how can we get this one? Doesn't appear to be a good option, guys. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It ain't hurt nothing. I mean, it's, it's staying there good. I might put a zip tie at the ends here in case they want to curl up. Something like that, and we'll come back and trim all those tails, but that'll keep that end, same with the other end, that'll keep that end in place. So it doesn't want to curl up, because they naturally seem to want to curl. We'll, we'll trim those tails off at the end, but that's looking pretty good. Now we just got to chase this wire back to the batteries. And they give you they give you a long length of wire. I mean, it's already reaching the back of the cart there. So we're going to come up and go along the this wire we already have, which comes from our front light bar. We're going to go along that wire. So we're just going to feed this back to here and run it right along with that one. And we'll be set ready to go. So that's what we're going to do. Get this ran back to the batteries. We're going to get all the other three hooked up. I'll try to show you where we mounted ours under there. And then we'll show you how to hook it up underneath. So let's keep going. 
All right, we are on to the side. We're on the left side of our cart right now where we brought the wires from the front. We're going to run our other lights right along this frame rail. You can see it and you can follow it all the way back. It'll use up the whole length. You can use that double-sided tape. Um, there are spots and you can see in the frame where you could put the zip ties, but we're going to use the three-sided or the double-sided tape. We already wiped off the frame. We're wiping off the lights right now and putting some tape on it. And then I left this cord loose because the cord for this one will probably go a lot of the same way. So that's what we're going to do. And if I had to tighten any, I could just run the wires through it. So we're going to do that on this side. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. You can see the frame over there. We're going to run it along that frame. And then we're going to go to the back and find a spot to run the back one. Then we'll put all the wires into the control box and hook it up. It's going to look awesome. Just that. I was like, oh, okay. All right, guys, we got both the sides done and the front one done. We're just going to go on to the rear one. You can see right here we have it following our frame, and the wire goes up next to the batteries in that compartment, and it goes to the front. Same with the other side, and also the front. You see we put on the springs down there. That's nice. It's holding there pretty good. Now we're just going to find a spot in the rear back there somewhere to put it. Then we'll wire them all in. I'll show you how you hook them all in. Pretty simple stuff. It's just pretty much plug and play, so. Let's go find that spot for that rear one. All right, guys, we're back here in the rear. The only spot we really see that goes straight across is right along this bumper rear spot, the bumper mount. So we're going to clean this off and run it right along the back side of these bolts all the way across. It should fit across there nicely. So let's get those cleaned up and put that 3M on there. And that'll be it. Then we're on to wiring. All right, we got that back one ran along the bumper. Looks a little wavy there in those spots, but they had to go around the nut there. It overhangs a little, but it's stuck there pretty good. And then we got the wires fed up along here. So all the wires are coming up into the battery area. That's where we're going to go now, find a spot to mark or to mount our control box. And we'll plug everything in. So let's get up there. All right, guys, we're up here in our battery compartment. And we're looking for a suitable place to put that control box right there. We're thinking right along here looks good. It's a nice flat spot down here. Um, so that's where we're going to put it. We already wiped that off with alcohol. And we wiped the back of that off with alcohol. And we're just going to use the included 3M double-sided. You can include that, which will work. But you also have the VHB, which holds really well. So we're going to try this first because it's already cut the size. If it comes off, we'll put the VHB on there. But that's what we're going to do. Mount this to there. Then we'll start plugging everything in. All right. We decided to go with the 3M, the doubles, or both of its 3M, but the VHB on here. Because even the other one, when we were picking it, the stuff off it barely stuck to its own to anything so we just don't want it to pop off on us fall on the ground or something so we're just going to put the good stuff on right away and that's it three strips of that we're set and ready to go we'll peel that off stick that in there see that pull stretch thing gives you little tongues to deal with which is nice otherwise you're trying to get to every one of those so we're just gonna peel those all off at the same time we're gonna put the wires down kind of almost the letters are up you'll see output input since we're gonna be hooking into our DC converter down there we want to make sure we have it right so not it right here boom it's in there now it's over <laughs> so we gotta be happy with it I'm happy with it we marked all ours so we know what they go in just in case you know when it's doing that that chase you want it to chase correctly um now down here on our charge converter there's we have a fused link we're going to pull the fuse out for safety get that out so nothing's juiced up right now and then uh all our lights are literally just going to plug into what we marked so right now this is the passenger side we're just going to plug that in that side's done we'll tighten up these or neaten up these wires here in a bit. And then we have, where's the front one here? Yep. We'll feed that one across so it's neat. That's gonna be the one marked front. Right here. They should only plug in one way for you. Then we have, this one is the driver's side. Plug that one in. Yep, well they only plug in one way. And then we got one more, which would be this back, the back one, right? Back, back. So, so make sure you mark yours if you're unplugging them, just in case. 
Okay, they're all plugged in. Let's try to neaten these wires up a little bit. We'll zip tie like these ones here. They include more than enough zip ties. Um, especially if you're taping yours on with the 3M tape. There'll be more than enough zip ties to neaten up your wires after. So that's what we're doing. All right, we finished tightening these or tightening these up somewhat. Now we're just trimming all our zip ties there, so that looks neat. Now our next thing we got to do is we got to get power to our positive and negative. Uh, what we ended up doing on ours, coming off there, we have these Wago plugs, which we love these things. One's negative, one's positive. So we're just going to cut these eyelets off of these and just put the wires into the Wagos. And then just so the, these don't get caught on anything, you can wrap a piece of tape around it. Uh, you can put dielectric grease in those also. So we're going to get our little cutter here. Cut the eyelets off. Get some wire strippers. Strip off a section. If you need to know how much to strip off of the plug or the wire, the Wagos have a guide on the side of it. You can see it there. It will tell you how, how long you need your wire to be. So that's what we want to do. We're going to go into this third one, put our negative in there. Oh, we don't want to leave any stragglers hanging out. See, that one's in nice. Same thing we're going to do with the positive. Make sure our wires are nice. Get that in. Close them up. There we are. We are powered. We can put our fuse back in down here that we took out. You might see a zap. That's okay. It's just discharging the power that might have been stored. But there it is. That's in. We are all powered up. I'm just going to put tape around these so they can't un come undone. That's up to you guys if you want to. I mean, it's always easy to take back off if you want. But it just gives you peace of mind that they're not going to get caught on anything flip open. So and that's it. So we're going to test these out here in a minute. All right, guys, there you have it. Fun little project for your golf cart with them underglow glow lights. Uh, we're going to wait till nighttime and shoot some video, which you should see it right here. As you can see, they look pretty cool. They dance around, they got a bunch of different modes, and you can play it with the music. You can see the spot with the music, we played a little music there. Hopefully it's timed right, but it looks pretty good. It'll be good at night shining off the road. Quick and easy, as long as you figure out where you're mounting it and how you're mounting it, it goes pretty easy. Uh, there's a couple things I could say about the kit. It's a nice kit, but it would be nice if it had the 3M tape already on the lights. That way you wouldn't have to do that yourself. That would be a nice bonus. And also the, um, the 3M for the back of the controller needs to be a better one because that one, it didn't want to stick that well at all. So yeah, that was an easy install. Just having the, the tape on there would have been nice. Uh, this remote is pretty cool. We just put the key thing on there. Like I said, it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's not, it doesn't feel all cheesy. The, the actual, this part that's metal, it's metal. It's not plastic. So that's pretty nice. So quick and easy project. We want to give a big shout out to 10 LOL for sending us these lights to try out. We're, we're totally impressed with them. They go on easy, nice waterproof tubes that they're in and everything. Everything looks quality. I uh, haven't had a problem with their stuff yet. So you guys, if you guys are interested in checking it out and getting some for yourself, we'll leave a link to them down below. Plus we'll leave a link to their website. If you're looking for any other accessories or parts, they have tons of stuff for a bunch of the top name carts and everything like that. If we get a coupon code that we can share with you guys, we'll leave that down below also. So you guys can save a little money if possible. And with that being said, guys, we want to thank you for watching. And until next time, try something new.